Assalamu alaikum, all of you. Thank you for coming back on my channel. Um, and today we'll be discussing on a new piece of information which I got a chance to explore. Uh, again, of course, it is on ChatGPT, centered around ChatGPT. We will be trying to build a sample application, a code driven application. I have used a Spring Boot to demonstrate a ChatGPT's. Uh, you know capabilities in terms of helping us how exactly we could build a Spring Boot application with minimal understanding of what Spring Boot is all about. Of course, Spring Boot is uh, something a framework which is uh, at the bottom based on Java, right? The idea here is someone who has no understanding about what Spring Boot is all about, how exactly he can you know go about building a Spring Boot microservice using ChatGPT, how exactly does ChatGPT help him in building a Spring Boot service is what we'll be focusing in learning. Uh, in this attempt, of course, you would be needing a, a environment to work on. So I'm using IntelliJ. You could use Eclipse. Any uh, ID which supports Spring Boot development is something which you can use. And along with this thing, I'll be also using uh, Postman uh, for testing any service requests as such. So with no further delay, let's jump on to uh, the ChatGPT console and let's see how exactly we can develop a Spring Boot service. Catch you in the console. Welcome back to the console. So as we said, today we are going to explore how exactly we can build a Spring Boot service with the help of ChatGPT. Well, to do that, all I did was, of course, I created ChatGPT, which is not necessary, just being fancy here. Hello, ChatGPT, and ChatGPT comes back to me and tells, okay, how can I help you today? So the first thing I'm asking ChatGPT is, can you give me 10 unique ideas to implement a Spring Boot service? Here, I just want to ask ChatGPT to give me ideas where I can implement something with using Spring Boot, like, you know, a service idea using which I can have a Spring Boot service built around it. Perfect. When I ask that, it comes back to me with 10 unique ideas. First, it gives me a build a RESTful web service, which does a to-do list sort of application where you can add, update, and delete tasks. Interesting idea. Implementing a microservice architecture for e-commerce platform with separate you know, service handling where orders, payments, and inventory management. That's pretty much a standard uh, service pattern where we'll be building something like this. Stubs for all these aspects, perfectly. Even a good idea. Building a service for generating PDF invoices and receipts and utilizing the Spring Boot services and theme leaf integration. All are like all these ideas are really, really interesting. Of all this, uh, I kept on reading and I found one was interesting for me, which was the ninth one. Building a optical character recognition system with Spring Boot and Tesseract integration. So all this does is if you see any image or a fax file or you know a file from where you can just see the data but you can't you know copy the data pretty much like for example if you have a bill a, a, a photo capture of a bill you won't be able to copy that data but you know of course today we have uh, capabilities with google and stuff where you can go and select a specific text and you can extract that well assuming that we don't have that we are just trying to build a spring boot service which helps us do that whenever you pass an image this particular service which you are going to build should return you the content what was present in that image for example if there is a bill which has different items it should be able to extract that information as text and send it to you from an image. You supply an image and you get back that data as text. That's what we are going to implement. I like this idea. So all I had to do is, can you help me build a Spring Boot service using idea number nine? Because I could copy paste that also, but I just told idea number nine. When I say that, ChatGPT understands that, okay, he wants to build a Spring Boot service around this particular idea, which is a OCR service using Spring Boot and Tesseract. Tesseract is one of the libraries which you can use to integrate, which helps you extract data from a given image. That's what it is, pretty basic, perfect. So once I ask what exactly I can do as part of that particular service, it gives me a structured you know, understanding of what I can do with that. 
sure building a service with ocr using spring board is something which you can do here is the outline in the sense like what are the steps you are going to perform as part of this particular service is what it is outlining so the first thing it is telling is create a new spring boot project using spring initializer or your preferred id i would prefer spring initializer and i'll be showing you how exactly we will be doing that of course add necessary dependencies to your project this is also something which chat gpt is going to help us it's going to provide us that let's see that how exactly we can do it add an endpoint to your service endpoint is nothing but you know for example if you have to upload a file you will be hitting a url where you can click on upload and then you will be submitting that same way for this service there should be an endpoint that is what it's all about and you can it's also telling you you have to use a multi-part class don't worry about that this is just that it tells that you can use a file to upload to that service is what it is nothing fancy about it and it's telling use tesseract ocr library this library is something you can think of you know uh, a piece of you know uh, code which is going to convert that image into text whatever text that particular image has this particular library is going to do that magic it's going to extract that and it's going to send it across uh, as a i mean it's going to consume it as a tiff file or any you know uh, image file and then it's going to extract that we'll see that also don't worry about that return the recognized text as a response from your endpoint so in the end all we want is we should be able to supply an image and we should be able to get back that as a text data is what we are expecting perfect all we have to do from here is following the instructions. The first instruction here is create a Spring Boot project using Spring Initializer. Well, I went to Spring Initializer. How can I go there? Start.spring.io is the website where you can find your Spring Initializer. Once you reach here, all you have to do is provide some details. For example, here I'm going to use Java to build this. This Kotlin and Groovy as well. Java is something I'm familiar with, so I'm going to use Java and you need something a tool to build it i'm going to use maven because that is something which i'm comfortable with i'm using maven i'm using one of the spring boot versions this helps you you know gives you a boilerplate code which you can use to you know implement it and it's mandate so you have to use one of this i'm using 2.7.7 and along with that i have to provide some metadata a group id for this thing and i'm calling that com.ocr.techworld with abdul it's my channel and artifact id that could be something like ocr hyphen tesseract the name can be same no issues with that a description which talks about what is the service about all about we are trying to build a spring boot ocr service using chat gpt that's what we are trying to do the package name automatically gets appended with your artifact name and your group id See, the first part is your group ID and your artifact name. It gets appended automatically. And the packaging has to be a Java archive. It can be a web archive also. I need an executable jar, so I'm using Java archive. And I'm using JDK 8. That is why it is prompting you Java 8. Here, I have chosen Java 8. So before you generate this, you can just click on Explore here, and it will show you what exactly is coming as part of this particular jar so if you see if i click on explore i see that there is a pom.xml file maven needs this xml file because this has dependencies if you see all this has is a xml sort of approach where whatever we specified is going to be presented here in the sense we are using 2.7.7 spring boot parent version which is a spring boot version which we are using here so that is something which is here along with that i see my group id the artifact id i gave and this is the first version which we are creating that's why you see the snapshot version here the name we gave the description the version of java we are using and there are there is a certain dependency which got added because we chose it i'll show you that also don't worry about that so if you, you also see a collapsible src directory if you expand it there is another directory called main java.com you didn't create any of this this particular start.spring.io is doing it for you ocr Tesseract application. This will be your main class, which comes as part of this particular uh, project generation process, where executing which your Spring Boot application pretty much starts running. And 
there is something called as application.properties file which has you know details about what should be a port and stuff like that we'll be configuring that don't worry about that that's it other thing is like test package you don't have to worry about that perfect let me close this and i'll show you how exactly you can add dependencies so i have added the spring boot spring web dependency let me remove this let me add it again i can come here click on add dependencies and then i can say spring web or you can find it here only any of those dependencies which are readily available you can add it just double click on this thing and it will be here once you're done with that you just have to click on generate and this should generate you a project so once you click on generate it generates a file which is a zip file of that project which you can use to start your development so you can right click on this thing at this zip file and say uh, you want to extract i want to extract all same destination let us say next so this should give us the extracted file perfect so if you see this particular directory has all that we saw while we explored it a pom file which is xml file with my dependencies which maven is going to use to build a uh, src directory inside which you have main inside java com ocr tech world with Abdul. this is the package which i gave right and then you'll be able to see the application class along with that we also have our resources file where i have my application dot properties perfect this should be straightforward and i believe this is understood all we did was we implemented the first step which is generate your spring boot project using spring initializer that's what we have done so far so the first step was generate your spring boot initializer uh, using your spring boot initializer generate your project and of or you can use your id once you have generated this project all you have to do is open your id and load that project i've already done that I have opened my ID. This is IntelliJ, which is what I am using. I am using IntelliJ and I have loaded the OCR Tesseract project. How you can do it? All you have to do is click on File and then you can say New and from existing resources and just go to your particular wherever you have extracted that uh, that particular project. You can just go there, click on this and then say OK. It should bring you up that project and when you expand, you will be seeing all those POM and the different files which are there it's just a way in which you will be viewing your project and this is the second step generate your project and open your id and load it you can use eclipse also i am using intellij here because i have the license for it it's kind of easy also i have been using it for years so kind of makes it easy to use perfect let's go to the next step from here so the next step which ChatGPT is suggesting me here is add the necessary dependencies to your project. Will uh, you will need uh, to include in your Spring Boot project is what it tells. But I don't know what dependencies will I need. All I have done is to execute this step. I came down, and in the next step, I told, "Can you generate all the files for above project, including the pom.xml and properties file?" Is what I asked. POM.xml ultimately has dependencies, which I already loaded, but I also want to make sure what other dependencies are needed. All we have added is one particular dependency, which is Spring Boot Web dependency, which we have added. Now I also want to add other dependencies. So it's saying, I'm sorry, but I'm not able to generate the files for you. However, I can guide you through the processes, what it is telling. So which means it's going to give me those dependencies. If I come down, it is telling first you will need a new project which we already have and we have loaded it into the IDE and then it is telling me the pom.xml should have these dependencies if you see the dependencies are spring boot starter web which is already there however these are not something which we have which is the tesseract specific uh, dependency see this is a tesseract specific dependency you can go and google about this and you will see that this pretty much you know rolls up under the test rack dependency so it is already giving you that all you have to do is copy this code go back to your pom.xml and paste it let's see how we can do it i came back to my id and on the pom.xml i just pasted those dependencies which is tess 4j and image io i don't think we need this but it has suggested so let's add it and see how does it help us 
So this was just the second part where we had to include the dependencies in my pom.xml, which already was given by ChatGPT. I could copy that, come back and paste it here. Once you have added the dependencies, the next piece ChatGPT is asking you to do is, hey, then you can create a new class and annotate it with REST controller. So every Spring Boot application, if you want to have a REST sort of a approach where you can request and get a response out of that particular service you will have to implement a rest controller pretty much right and it is giving you the code for that as well it is telling implement this rest controller which is called as it's a class in java which is called as ocr controller which is what chat gpt is naming and it's giving you the code also what exactly you're supposed to do if someone understands java i can help them understand as well this is just a pretty basic class which can perform rest operations the endpoint is going to be forward slash ocr that's what the post mapping is set to all it does is this method consumes a image file you can give give an image file to the service it will take that image file on this particular endpoint and then what it will do it will convert that into a buffered image and and a byte array output stream and it will convert those image bytes and then the Tesseract uh, library which we are using, which we add, the dependency which we added is going to set the language as English and then it's going to recognize the text out of it. How is it doing? All that image had were converted into those bytes and are being passed to this byte input array stream and it is going to return you the recognized text. Uh, that's what it is doing. Pretty simple, nothing fancy here. If you see these comments here, convert the image file to the format of Tesseract can read recognize the text from the image you know extracting that text and then sending back that response as a response to this request that's what we are trying to do here so all we have to do is take this code and embed into our application just copy this code go back to your id and paste it i came back to my id right click click new so now that we have copied this controller code let's go and add it to our code base let me go back to my ide and then all i have to do here is right click on this particular package and then click on new and java class and provide ocr controller and you can add the code which you copied i did the same here i copied that to ocr controller and then if you see here uh, all we have done is copied that code and I'm referring to my directory where the data file should be sitting. It's my absolute path. And the same code I have copied here. Something to remember here is few of the attributes which we have to add to our uh, properties file. Under the resources, we do have application.properties file. I want to run it on a specific port, which is 2023, just to make it fancy that I can set by just doing server.port and it would be pointing to 2023 and then i want to also make sure the file size shouldn't exceed a certain limit i'm giving that thing here so i'll be putting this in the description so you can pick it up from here nothing fancy just three uh, three pieces of information or properties i'm setting here port file size and the request file size is what i'm specifying here perfect that's it all that we have to do is now we should be able to run this application and see how exactly it behaves so let's go ahead and start the application. All I have to do is you could do it from here or the best way would be like, you know, go on top here and then just click on run application. This should start your application. Let us see. So, you know, once I clicked on run, now the application is getting started pretty much running the Spring Boot application, which starts from this class because the main method is specified here. Someone who already knows Java is like, it's a no brainer for them. Uh, and then once you see it's a message like this started OCR Tesseract application in 3.972 seconds and which tells me that my application is up and running. So now this application should be capable or this microservice, micro, this Spring Boot service should be able to, you know, cater any request in the sense we should be able to send any image and we should be able to get back the textual data from that image to do that what i have done i am taking a image here so i do have my you know 
I recently cleared my one of the cloud practitioner exams, which is for AWS. So I'm going to send this particular image. I've added that into an image and I'm, I want to send this to uh, this particular service and see if it can extract all this data and give that to me as text. Right now, this is in an image format. It's a PDF format, but it's also in an image format. I have saved it in an image format here. If I open this capture, this should show you that. Okay, this is the image I'm going to pass to this particular application i want to see if it returns me the textual data of this particular image in the sense it should extract me all the text from here and give give that back as a response let us see that and to do that we'll be exploring postman well i have installed postman on my desktop and this is the user interface for that you can launch that from your run prompt once you have installed it you will see postman here and then you can click and you can open it and you'll see something like this you can click on this thing and it will launch you a new request so from using postman what you can do is you can do you know rest operation get post update stuff like that if you see here all these operations can be done so right now what we have implemented the code which chat gpt gave us was a post sort of a you know uh, request which it gave me if you see the controller class you will see that it is a post mapping to do that all I have to do is select post here and then I need a URL for that what is my URL it is localhost which is my host name colon port number 2023 is what we specified and the controller is listening on forward slash OCR this is what the post mapping was set to in the controller class that's what we saw none of that we developed all we have done is copy paste and we've passed certain instructions to chat gpt which gave us that code we copied that code pasted that code generated the project from spring uh, spring initializer.io and added these changes and here we are saying it has to be a a rest call a post rest call to this particular service ocr service which is running on localhost on port 2023 and i have to pass some data the data has to be a multi-part file is what we have chosen in the sense we should be passing an image file to do that i'll be passing it from here if you see there is something called as none form data and a lot of stuff here if it's a json you would use something like raw and then click on json here and you would be passing that but this is multi-part file so you would be using form data and you would be choosing what is the key the key which uh, was given as part of that particular code was image file just copy that image file and then go back to this thing paste it here you're telling this is the image file which is going to come as part of it and choose that thing so to do that all you have to do is let me redo it sorry delete this click on this and then you will be seeing file from the form data you have to choose file here click on file here when you do that you will be getting the option to select a file select files click on select files and you can select that image which has the uh, the certificate information so i'm passing that image here open and in this particular key just pass the image file because that's the name we have passed there that's it all you have to do is click send and we should wait and see if this particular service returns us the desired data our service is running which we are sure because we started it if you see it is running it is started and it's selling ocr test right application up and running let's try to run this particular request through postman and see if the data is coming back hola this is it see if you see aws certified abdul Qadir, depending upon the kind of you know uh, image you are passing you'll be getting back the data aws cloud uh, certified cloud right practitioner the validation number in the image you can't copy that data but here everything came back as text now this data can be used to do whatever you want this way you could pass any image here and then you can get back the data as simple as that so this is a very simple way of understanding how exactly you could literally build a microservice Spring Boot application using ChatGPT with very minimal knowledge of what exactly coding is all about. And it is going to help you by giving you the sample code and the dependency, everything. We saw that in this 
particular video. I hope this has helped you understand and get a basic understanding about how exactly ChatGPT can be used to build a Spring Boot application using, you know, uh, IDE and also testing it out using Postman. Thank you for watching and if you like more such videos, please give, give me a like and also add, uh, put a comment on what exact videos would you want me to make more in terms of understanding ChatGPT better. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Keep developing. Cheers.